What's up, YouTube? I am posted up chilling. Running this event, mystery research facility, and really just getting to know these characters the best that I can. Now, I'm having a lot of people ask me about re-rolling. Near, should I re-roll? Um, I just had somebody ask me, you know, I mean, this particular person rolled some Dr. Stone characters, and now he's asking if he should re-roll. Of course, I told him I'd need a little more information before I could really give an opinion on that. Uh, obviously, depending which characters you have. But you know what? I figured, why not just make a vid real quick and talk about it? And I don't know about real quick either, because uh, this is actually kind of a complicated thing, depending on how you want to look at it. I forgot to throw Beast Hunter in my other... Whoops. Uh, it's It actually is kind of... I mean, there's there's a few things that people need to factor when they talk about re-rolling an account. And take it from me, I have re-rolled an account. And guess what? I would have been better off going back to my original account than pursuing this account, and I just kind of did that out of laziness. I kind of forgot what I was giving up too. I did, uh, and specifically what I gave up that I do not have now on this account, even though I have everything else. I do not have the Mana Blade ability or Moonlight Blade, the one that le lets you imbue people with extra life steal, which is pretty effing awesome. Personally, I enjoy that. It can make a DPS party go much further with self-sustain um, you might not need as much of a healer then um, if you can just heal more off of the damage you're doing it just gives you fun stuff like that to play with uh, and then there's another one my goodness I forgot what it's called Buddha compared it to Winfrey's apple pie or whatever it's called I forget what it's called it's from the secret of mana and it's still used in some sort of spam combo I've seen it I, I forget exactly what it is because I don't have it anymore and that's that's unfortunate it won't come back I'll never have that item right I will never have it because secret of mana part one is not going to come back um, so it's unfortunate but that's just the way that it is um, unless something changes which would be surprising because, yeah, I'm not going to hold my breath. So uh, I missed out on that, and that's what you have to be weary of, right? Now, of course, if you've made an account after that and you didn't have that anyway, if you didn't have, like, the Secret of Mana arcs and, you know, some stuff like that. Oh, that's the thing, too. I had, I had the Mana Blade. I would still love to have the Mana Blade right now. Your boy would rock that. I would use the Mana Blade. I'm sure plenty of people still are. Uh, let's see. There's another factor you also have to consider is where we're at in the meta currently, which meta we're in, which characters are rocking the top right now. Should you re-roll an account, for instance, if you just pulled the alchemy characters? That's really tough. Maybe if you absolutely love Nier and you have no other way of getting the characters, I don't know, that's, that's your judgment call. I wouldn't. And the reason I'm going to say that is because, man, I don't know, Full Metal, they really, uh, I don't know, they, they really did some, some ass kissing to aid us, apparently. Somebody blew somebody because those characters, being able to spam uh, your ability kit at the cost of MP on demand like that, that in itself is such a huge advantage in the whole mechanic of how this game works it's such a huge up being able to just make a giant pocket of damage on demand wherever you want you know especially with breaks and all that stuff um yeah so those characters are just super strong just off of that just off of that mechanic it's hard to come close to them now am i saying that the near characters can't touch the uh the full metal ones no i'm not actually i'm not because it seems like the uh the near characters they have they have their own little trick <laughs> and pretty much that is they just need to like charge their kit and then it literally just kind of stays charged i've been talking about it 
And I kind of actually had a chance now to look through and try to piece together, like, how this is happening. And by the way, like, my character, obviously, as she gets more SC, and as I level her up, uh, she'll be better at this, right? Uh, where did she go? There we go. So, um, what was I looking for here? Do, 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 do. Here she is. Alright, I've just pretty much been putting anything I can on And she's been running around with experience up. I actually kind of forgot to take that off when uh, <laughs> I was killing a bunch of stuff. So she probably could have done much better with 12 more SC. Right? Uh, but where is it? These these characters. Uh, okay, right here. Support unit pod 042. And this is the one that they all seem to kind of have. Uh, I believe Nines has this. I'm sure A2. 2A will have this ability as, as well. Uh, so every 20 seconds, if hit points is below 50% or less, restore hit points 8%. Every 30 seconds, remove a basic status ailment, which is awesome. And if all skill stock are zero, restore 4 SCT or SCT four seconds, okay? That last part right there, okay, when all skill stock is zero and you recover four seconds, really think about how that works, okay? Because you can spam everything out to the point where it's nothing. And then as soon as that happens, you recover four seconds. One of your abilities will probably charge and you'll drop it instantly and then you're back down to nothing for just a second and then everything recovers for SCT. Another one of your abilities charges now and you drop that one and from dropping that one and getting four more seconds, you get your S1 back. It's like this crazy vicious cycle. If you just start tapping all her abilities and just spamming the shit out of them, uh, you will, you will kind of, you'll kind of see how this greatly uh, improves the way that this girl eats. I don't know, that's just the best way that I can describe it, but surprisingly, just that very last part there, in my opinion, is a very powerful thing, right? If all st skill stocks are zero, recover SCT for seconds. That's just phenomenal to me, plus how fast her kit charges already. A very powerful, very controlling kit. I mean, she's throwing people up into the air, she could be nasty for Arena. The, what I'm going to say about running her, though, uh, you need to hit with the S3 first. The S3 is a straight-up teleport for her. It will get her there. And then from there, you absolutely wreck with S1 and S2. They just make crazy combos, super high hits all around her, tons of damage, crazy effects. Um, but you are going to want to use the S3 to initiate your attack. All right, uh... They couldn't give this girl two other jump abilities. She would just be broken, stupid. Like, yeah, that 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 is perfectly fine with me. I'm very happy with the way that they did this, just because of how ridiculous she is. And I like that. It makes you have to hang back for. But in in reality, look. In reality, you can pretty much start off with your S3 charged. We all know it. Between quick trigger and charge. S3 and whatever else you can get um, that's really all you need and then she's going to be able to get into combat with something and probably kill it right uh, you know the S1 and the S2 just provides combos for days throws people up in the air disrupts people the S1 in particular is very good at disrupting uh, and then of course you can tack on like aerial damage for her so that opens up an easy path for damage for her uh the point being is, how does that stack up to the alchemy characters? I don't know fully through and through, but I know that it's going to be somewhat close. Like, you know, so I, I would have to, you know, factor that in when 
talking to people about whether or not they should re-roll their account or not and giving them advice like if you have this last collab you might really want to think twice um you know if not maybe that's a different story like so this one guy he said he walked away from the game after dr stone and now he's coming back because of near you know should you re-roll for dr stone uh Again, obviously, maybe with Dr. Stone, you don't have the Secret of Mana characters and stuff like that. And if it's just the Dr. Stone characters, Kohaku is pretty much um, getting out-tiered at this point just because of her damage cap. Um, that's just they're all, that's all there is to it. She's still fun and awesome to play, you know, and the, the way that she chain combos through people just looks badass, and she's always fun, but she is outclassed and outdamaged at this point. Uh, Dr. Stone can be very useful, right? That would be pr probably the most useful character there out of a bunch for a new account. But it all depends on if you have, like, the Staff of Science for him or whatever. Um, you know, uh, Chrome would be useful for farming. But other than that, uh, these characters are going to outclass the Dr. Stone characters. Even Tsukasa. Uh, Tsukasa is a super powerful character. Um, actually, Sukasa would do great against 2B because he's all dark, and she is inherently weak to dark. Uh, but then again, for Sukasa, you need his arcs. You need the arcs for the spear. You need the yoga spear style or whatever it's called. You need all the spear masteries uh, and all the rays, dark, and crit, uh, dark damage. You need all of that to really make those characters the bomb, but... You know, so it all de really depends on what you got. So when people ask me, should they re-roll? Really, it all depends on where you're at. Um, I said myself, I've re-rolled just to have a UR arc around when they came came out. And what did I end up out of that? I ended up with like I have a a level five drag dragon only or whatever the hell we want to call it. Uh, the dragon Roland's dragon. Mine is at level five. That's what I got. Um, oh, jeez. You guys are going to have to give me a second. I'm sorry. My tooth hurts right now. It's part of the reason why I'm recording is just to get my mind off of it. So thank you for helping me get through this, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have Roland's Ark at level 5. That's all I got out of it. What I gave up for it would be the secret of mana, um, you know, arcs and abilities that I can't get now. <clears throat> I mean, I missed the Mana Blade one alone. I think it only cost you at 6 SC to run it on a buffer. And I just thought it was a cool buff to be able to give out to people, especially for a boss fight. So, you know, uh, think about that. Think about, you know, any items that you have from any collabs or stuff that's not going to come back around. Like, is it worth it to give that up? Uh, so really, that's up to you. Uh, me, personally, I have... I still have a bunch of gameplay I can do so I can grind up some lapis and that's what I'm kind of hoping to save me for part two of this <laughs> when the when the other android comes uh, so yeah uh, that's what I'm going to be doing next couple of days trying to grind everything out but a lot of people they don't have anything to grind out so that's another reason you know for you to restart is you got to think about that is when you restart and you start with these characters, you are going to have a bunch of grindable lapis in the game again that you can use in future banners, or obviously these banners right now. Uh, so, you know, maul it over, everybody. Really think about it, because it kind of is really an investment of your time. Like, you're going to sit there and re-roll for a day or two. If you're lucky, you'll get both of the androids and a rogue. Um... Here's what's interesting, I will say this, nines actually seems pretty damn competent, right? So so you're going to be starting with a status character that actually has decent intelligence and strength. He could throw some magic. I think you could make him into, because he does break, and I think he does buff, um, and he throws some of these, so he's just kind of like a mixed bag from my assessment of him, my quick overview. I could be wrong on that completely, but that's just kind of what he looked like to me when I looked over him real quick. 
but you could make something like this work as a really good support character for the other two androids and yes i'm sure both of these new collab androids would absolutely wreck last claudia on a new account they would go through and just pop pop bang bang uh, and i'm sure it'd be a blast to play through and you would get to unlock all the grindable lapis that becomes available to you when you reset the game so there's that to think about and that is part of the reason why i kept playing on my new account and didn't go back to my old one but really in hindsight i i should have switched back instantly like i would have got the ur arc anyway during the celebration uh and now i would still have you know these missing arcs that I can never get now and these abilities that I probably will never be able to get now and some of them are still being used right now right you look at some of the uh, some of the senior players uh, they're still using these things you know it's it's like just spam for MP and health and uh, uh, Buddha's covered it in a couple videos he's brought it up because I think it kind of stings that he doesn't have it either. And I'm like, yeah, I'm right there with you, bro, because I restarted. So it is what it is, guys. All I'm saying is think about all of this before you do the same thing that I did. Um, and, hey, maybe for you it might be worth it because, I mean, these characters are just effing ridiculous. And I can see a lot of power coming out of them. And I haven't even seen 2A yet. And, of course, they're going to save, like, typically, typically, last Claudia history here. They've saved the stronger character for, you know, for the second release, uh, the second part of the collab. It's typically how they do it. Right? How do you think? I mean, this guy right here is strong, okay? But Colonel Mustang, this will throw in his S3 with, I mean, this guy totally rapes this system that is made for him with spamming his kit out of his MP pool. He just absolutely just takes advantage of it in the worst effing way possible. That S3 is just stupid. 20 hits to everybody or whatever it is. I can't even count. It's just so much. It's such a huge area. It might as well be a goddamn spell. <laughs> and it is. You're using MP to burn it. Oh yeah, and you can use a little bit more MP. Not a little bit, but you can use some more MP and you can sharp eyes damage on top of that too so it's just it just becomes insane um yeah and he was the second character to drop so it just typically has been the second character even sukasa sukasa was the second character the secret character you guys got to remember this guy was the secret sauce this guy was the secret sauce if it wasn't for the sakura i'm sorry i'm sorry if it wasn't for the sukasa outrage guys we would not even be getting a heads up on uh, 2A's banner. We wouldn't. Because this is how they initially tried to pull this bullshit. They would, like, they would release a collab and the characters would just drop and that was it. This was the first secret character that they snuck in. And the whole community was like, no, rah, rah, no. And some people were pissed off because they couldn't get him. They didn't even have a chance, you know. Because not everybody can be a freaking money machine for a, a gotcha game when when Aedas wants them to be, and it's just it wasn't it wasn't good, it wasn't fair to the players. I definitely voiced my concerns over it, and so did a lot of other content creators. They at least said something about it. Uh, so yeah, um, and Aedas stopped. Uh, or right now, like if they would have got away with that, we wouldn't even know that uh, we'd be getting 2A. They wouldn't even be putting her in the art. <laughs> She'd be in the background of some little bush somewhere. They'd be like, oh, oh wait, actually, yeah, she, she's down there by the beach somewhere. Yeah, it'd be some ridiculous like that. But, yeah, so this guy also, you know, to me, this is one of the stronger collab characters from that collab. Just personally, IMO, you can dispute that with me, but this guy is very strong for his time. Especially if you have all the spear stuff. Like I said, it does take all the spear stuff and all the dark damage increase. Uh, it does take the gear, right? He's going to be using the King, King Fiend horns. Um, it's still a very powerful character and very fun to run in Arena and, and an amazing breaker for whatever breakers are worth now. We're kind of in limbo there. 
Um, I don't know how much a breaker's worth until we evaluate what the hell's going on with the damage block that they're doing. <laughs> so, so we'll figure that out. But still, Sukasa, that, that S3, he still drops that shit like crazy. Again, though, but nothing like these new collab characters. And the collab characters are pretty much set the standard for the meta. So I can honestly say that I feel like this right here was the start of the new meta, right? And this, this right here definitely, I, I think it keeps up with it. IMO, just IMO. Like, I can't stress that enough. Uh, and if I'm wrong, please, kindly correct me. Leave me a comment. Let us know why. Um, but that's just kind of how I see it after running her, seeing some of her potential, you know. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel strongly enough about it to say it. But again, it is just my opinion. So just kind of reminding you guys. And um, off of that, you're going to have to decide whether you want to re-roll or not, right? Um, you can always just try your luck on the side, and if you just get some kind of crazy, amazing roll, then all right, maybe. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just trying to think what I would do if I really, really, really wanted some near characters in this game. Um, but ultimately, it's up to you. Best of luck, everybody. I hope this helps some of you just kind of think about some some of these things that could be a factor. And hey, if they're not, then at least you went over them with me right now and you know that they're not and you don't you know that they don't apply to you. You know you don't have to worry about it, so you know the decisions that much easier for you. So I hope I helped somebody somewhere. And guys, thank you for helping me kill some time while my tooth hurt. It's actually feeling a little bit better now. There, you guys got to see me at my worst. Well, you guys got to hear me at my worst. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. I'm in rare form. <laughs> Figures even on an awesome day. Uh, a favored collab day of mine. I'd have something like a broken molar to hurt me. Well, that's just life. What are you going to do? I'll talk to you all soon. Best of luck.